All right, here we go. Thought I'd give this another go. It's another lovely ground attack aircraft escort mission. And here we go, see, this is what I forgot to adjust before. Mission start should be on the runway. Career speed is realistic, that's fine. Difficulty level, I, I guess it should be hard. quite know what that means but it, the AI seemed to be downright lethargic last time so let's put that up a bit so that on hard realism is still full real with the exception of the icons which I use when I do careers this is a yeah so as you can see I have the object markers the warmed up engine and that markers and uh, if you have watched my rise of flight videos you'll know why um, I like this tab, by the way, UI-wise. This is a nice little tab. Let's not delay any further. Um, we'll crash it on takeoff instead. It says, says 13 minutes, but that's if I go full tilt and says we're, we're escorting these bombs. Yes, hello. Nice to meet you. It's the same mission as last time. I want the additional uh, machine guns. Uh, convergence uh, should be fine. 30 rounds. Kayla, 30 rounds. Which isn't a lot, but uh. Let's stick with that glorious prototype. Ah, yes. And those are for now. Engine has already started, apparently. Well, we've got full rich for this. He's fired off his flare. Yes. I think that's quite enough flares, my good man. Nope. He is intent on firing off every last one he has. Into the, uh... Stavka headquarters. Yeah, close the door. Everything seems to be working. Just waiting on you. Cleared for takeoff. Oh.
some choice of maneuver. Ah, there are the bombers. How is the uh, audio? Is it all right? <laughs> Need to adjust something out one second. There we go.
Cruise Line gets aisle twos this time, right? And we are back in an aisle 2 game. We are back in a career mode, is what I meant to say. Which means that you have to be more afraid of your wingmen than uh, of the enemy. And if I remember correctly from the briefing, I am the only P-39 this mission, so our wingmen are all P-40s. Twelve planes all in all on this mission. We have three P-40s, one P-39 as escort, and eight IL-2s. Probably more than 1943, but I can't be sure. Looked like it uh, was using that 1943 skin about as good as I can do for aircraft identification at this range and on that particular plane. It will have to do. Now, of course, we've made it about halfway. Yes, well, I doubt we'll see the enemy for a little bit yet, but there should be hereabouts. I could open the window and lean out. I mean, I can probably open the window, but the to raise the landing gear. That no, sorry. <coughs> to raise the landing gear, place the two toggle switch in the up position. To lower the landing gear, place the toggle switch in the down position. Do not lower landing gear above 150 miles an hour. Do not operate landing gear electrically with manual control engaged. Yada yada. That's good. 150 miles per hour is the deployment limit. I've noticed that that slight freeze. Um, I thought it was just me, but apparently a lot of other people on the forum has been having it as well. Um, where there's a stutter every time they open and close the map. Not something I've had before, and it uh, doesn't seem to doesn't seem to have any other performance issues related to the new patch. That's pretty much the only thing. If only this was something you saw in multiplayer. A field day of... Well, that uh, T-34 
10 of 15 ship uh, A20 formation we had yesterday. Now that we've raised the difficulty and we are likely to encounter G6s and whatnot, G5s, G, not G5, G4s, G6s, I uh, think I shall stay away from me, stay away from me, I have no energy with which to avoid you. Ah, there we go. We have indeed spotted something. Let's see if we can find them before they find us. Where did the... Oh, those IL twos just disappeared over this cluster. There they are. Those are not easy to track against those houses. They said engage nearest air target, but I haven't seen any air targets and doesn't appear like the AI has either. about 3k and uh, getting ever closer. Now we've basically entered the battle zone, this is what I'd call the front. Allowing them, allowing them to get some separation so that I can track them more easily. Is the target precisely? Looks like a train station or something? Near the city? What bloody target? Where did they go? Oh, there we are. A 
lag three, that's not one of ours, but they are engaging something in the vicinity. like those lags are uh, doing just fine on their own so far. Although, I, I mean, I've done it myself, but I wouldn't really expect a lag 3 to take down G4s in most situations. Is that the target? Nope. We're still over our lines. I was hoping to see some fireworks. Another lag destroyed another G4. G4. That's good for us. Though somewhat embarrassing for the German pilots. Nothing quite like lots of bombers information, is there? I will say, it does feel a little bit like uh, this career mode. They've done some big improvements to uh, all the rest, everything that goes on in the background. That's our escort actually breaking off, I think. Engage something. No. Nope. Seems to be a lot more missions going on all around. Typically in Rise of Flight, you very rarely got to see anyone else do anything, and if you did saw see someone else, odds were they were just kind of spawn for your benefit and not really carrying out missions but there's a lot of stuff on the ground and there's a lot of uh, and there we go there's a lot of stuff on the ground there's a lot of stuff just going on in general it makes it feel like there really is a war going on and you're just carrying out a small part of it what are they firing on There's something there on the, on the ground. It's the last time I broke off with the escort, along with the rest of them. Um, today I want to try to stay. Yes, I saw them up there. Um, I want to try to stay with the formation for as long as possible. Oh, there's <laughs> there's a dogfight going on behind us. And there goes the flak. Maybe one of our planes has broken off, but for the most part it does seem like we are sticking to them. And those planes back there were fighting them for some other reason. 
Maybe close to half a choke. A little worried about the flak, given the density we set for them. Pick up some speed. I will stick with my squadron, my flight. That's probably the target, that complex down there. Oh, the L2s are breaking off. Starting their attack run, I suppose. is breaking apart. I don't know why they're all going in completely different directions. Maybe that is intentional. I would assume it will. That was a failed pass. And I'm starting to take flak. They are attacking something, but I'm not really sure what it is. Rockets. Critical objective failed. I wonder why. Lost too many of the ILTs. Go. Nice job. Oh dear God! Oh, well. Well, there you have it. Artyom. 
too busy looking at the uh, ground attack AI actually working for once. Oh look, and I was flying with the landing lights on. Isn't that beautiful? Mission failed. Luftschiff was killed. I completed the takeoff objective, that's something. I wonder, I must check the... So a lot of weird shit started happening over here somewhere. G4 down, G4 destroyed, G4 destroyed, G4 destroyed. So we already have four G4s dead by the time we enter the fray. Five G4s destroyed. Six G4s destroyed. Destroyed, 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 B40 destroyed, wait, what, yes, and one aisle two down, and then I died somewhere. Still not entirely sure what the loss was, but, ah, uh, poor guy. Very well. So we died. Still, our kill death ratio is fantastic. Our chum Konovalov was killed in action. A lot of people. Oh, wow. The entire flight wiped out. Two of us dead, two of us missing in action. So out of that flight, 12 planes took off. I don't know if any made it back alive. They just disappeared over the front. That seems fitting. I like that. Yeah, still skeptical. He survived three days at the front. Ah, yes, we're back in action. This is a career, isn't it? Create a new career. What say you? Battle of Moscow, Battle of Stalingrad, Battle of Kuban. Any preferences, Kayla? Stalingrad. Just kind of, I want to sort of want to check out the A twenty, what the bomber missions are like. But I don't know how amusing a bomber career would be. I haven't flown it either. Uh, G six is also interesting. All of them are interesting. They're all cool. New aircraft are, of course, delightful. I could start another P-39 career, maybe earlier. Who knows? That G-4 annihilated me, by the way. Let's check the Soviet Union, see what, um, what planes are available at this stage in the war. I-16, MiG-3, Yak-1, P-2, LA-5, P-40, and the A-20B, which apparently isn't... So why is it, why is it greyed out, though? A 
is it because it hasn't been introduced yet? Yes, there we go. Okay. Since so being assault, assaulted. Could try this. Yes. Why not? So this would be the combat debut. Uh, the A20 is. I wish there was a button to unselect all of these. So that would be the 45th, which is over here, I think. Flying rather far, or the 57th, and they're all based up there. Yes. Order of the Red Banner. He does look like a bomber pilot. Soviet factor. Factor, factor, factory worker. His name is. Well. This is a good bomber name, isn't it? Dorofeyev. Bogdan Badabumovich. Oh, what's on earth? That's not the music I was expecting. Beautiful Stukas. New day begins. Now watch me completely cock up the start of this bomber. Although I don't, certainly don't say no to a big, uh, big bomber boxed. Flying in there. Uh, we should start this. Why? Well, I don't know why it does this. I can't believe you've done this. By selecting that, you now have to settle in for five to ten minutes of the engine starting. But it could be worse, it could be a uh, one ten. Let's see take off Head directly south, 
meet up with the fighter escort uh, near breakpoint 2. Then we turn to the south southeast. And I don't know if this will be available to me. Let's see. We'll, we'll make 23 meters a second. Sweet Jesus. What do you mean, no turbulence? This is a bloody storm. Was the weather balloon falling when it gave this report? Ah, Bogdan Badabumovich, you're in for a treat now. Target approach altitude 3,000 meters. Uh, field altitude 65. I should uh, write this down, but I don't have the patience at the moment. Uh, down speed limit 665, indicated stall is about 120 miles an hour. Uh, da, 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 da. Re uh, yes, let's see what we've loaded up. I do not need a thousand liters. I'd be surprised if I need 300. But let's uh, let's be generous. Let's go 500 liters. It's two engines. That's 40%. Uh, that should be fine. Is this the standard loadout? Let's see. 16 100 kilobombs. Or you can apparently go with 20. I don't know why you want to go with 60. Is there a... Why is there a separate... Is that because you're carrying some extras on the wing? Because... Yeah, there's a lot of speed loss, I would expect, with the extra four or two on each wing. Or you can carry four 250s or an internal load and four 250s. Ah, uh, well, well, we'll just go with 16 100s. Carry that as well. And these are all internal. That's good. Dashing Hitler. Dashing Hitler. A British. Dashing Hitler. What a dashing Hitler. Yeah, stretching his long legs like that. My, my, Mr. Adolf. Oh, we're definitely going with Miss Dashing Hitler. I don't even care about any of these. Dashing Hitler. Dashing Hitler. Right, well. Let's go strut us to... Oh, my lord. Ah, oh, be still my beating bomber pilot heart. Oh! Look at this. Oh my lord. God. It's not exactly gaining speed very quickly, is it? I think I cocked that up right. Oh, God. This is ground control to Major Tom. That's interesting. We're stepping through the door. I'm I'm used to flying the Heinkel. This is not a a climb vector I'm used to. Just like 
flying a rocket ship. Freaking Cobra takeoff. I don't know why it's doing this, but I'll try not to look at it. Yeah, that's sad. Pressure, fuel pressure. Oil, oil, blah, blah, blah. This, seriously though, chill out, dude. What is the engine temperatures? This is by far the most overpowered bomber I've ever had the pleasure of flying. And by overpowered, I don't mean the, uh, it's game strength, I mean the engine power. Even with a full bomb load, this is like flying a fighter. This could easily outpace like the Mag 3, I think. They keep climbing though, I have no chill. And I still don't know what the engine temperatures are. And that must be air pressure. Well, they are air cooled present with the radials. Should be should be pretty good, but This is where you can really see that they've improved both the draw distance and the ground texture.
That's what I get for wanting to take a screenshot. Also incredibly stable. This is this is me flying hands off. That's why I was losing so much performance, didn't have the supercharger engaged. sure I've done, not colliding with anyone. And the wind speed was like 23. I set it to 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 24. And our airspeed is likely to be like 400, thereabouts. Altitude is 3,000. This is beautiful. That looks like our escort. Good heavens. That's my gun of fire. No, 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 I don't want to be the bottom of the formation. Careful.
Oh, good heavens. I don't even know what our target is. Oh, good heavens! Did one of the 109s just shoot another 109? Ah, uh, they're firing on me. I'm just bailing my bombs now. Oh, good heavens! What? Why won't it? It won't let me. It won't let me actually just select the. It, it selects both the engines.
it won't let me select just engine 2. I can't, can't extinguish the fire. Try to... Yeah. Well, that engine exploded. So I don't know if something's been cocked up in the patch or if it's just a, an issue with the controls or something, because I could not um, turn off the right engine. I couldn't shut the fuel off. That was a very short-lived campaign, wasn't it? Uh, mission accomplished, though. Though I think that mission was over roughly at the same time we saw uh, eight F-4s pass under us. Fascinating stuff, though. Did we actually hit something? I was way too preoccupied with the bombers, with the fighters at the precise moment of the drop. Uh, yes, it does seem like the railway facility was destroyed. Uh, I made it almost back over the lines and then the engine exploded. It didn't stop burning. Well, what I think what I will do in this particular case, just because I'm uh, the other alternative is that I'll just restart the campaign or restart a campaign, is that this once I will restart the mission so that I don't have to create Badabumovich again. But um, that is probably for another time or possibly a little later. Kayla should be back home soon. And we'll probably do a stream, so uh, I'm going to take a break, grab some dinner, and I should be back within uh, an hour or something. Thank you very much for joining me, and uh, for continuing to humour this little live stream experiment. Uh, I'll see you next time. Which is in, you know, 60 minutes or something. Toodle pip. <laughs>